Swedish overspeed one-on-one -on -one drill. This is a great fast-paced one-on-one drill, full ice, uh, for up to about 25 players, 15 to 25 players. This is absolutely ideal. The only downside of it, only four players are moving at once. So uh, if more than 25 players, you might want to avoid this one because it would be too much standing around. However, the drill starts with the forwards lined up here and here, just outside the blue lines, facing in, facing in that direction. The D are down here, draw them in blue, and they're facing Pretty much they're facing out, facing in this direction. So that's the first D in line, that's the first forward in line. Both sides go at the same time, but I'm only going to draw one side here just to start so we don't confuse things. The drill starts on a whistle with the for first forward in line fire firing a nice hard tape to tape pass to the first D in that line. That D will receive that pass and make a little area pass just out into this area here, just a small one touch area pass to about that, zip, that area. The forward, as soon as he releases that pass, he's gonna follow up his pass, swinging down low into the zone and picking up his pass, picking up that pass from the D. He then skates up with the puck around the far cone and attacks the zone. The D, which I'll draw in blue, skates up to the near cone, pivots, and starts skating backwards. And it's a one-on-one. -on -one. The forward trying to come in and score, the D trying to prevent them from scoring, backpedaling. It's all about gap control. Forward's gonna come in, try and get a shot on goal. The D is trying to prevent him, trying to, They've got to maintain the gap. The D's got to maintain their gap here on the forward, close it, and then drive them wide or knock the puck away. Just, I'll show the other side what happens, but it's happening both exactly at the same time. So on that same whistle, there's a D to D pass. Sorry, a forward pass to the first D in line, a little area pass out to there. That forward swings down, picks up that pass, skates up to his far cone, comes back in to attack that zone. That D will have skated up to the near cone and backpedaled to try and prevent this forward from getting a shot on goal. There shouldn't be any problem with the D or with the two sides uh, banging into each other because when this D is going around here he should be in that position and that forward should be in this position so they should be on opposite sides of the cone as long as they keep up relatively the same speed.